Hey everyone, Reese here with Cranberry Alarm RI3D. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at our game piece acquisition. We're going to be highlighting entirely our intake, um, kind of how we got here. This is kind of our finalized version that we're at right now. Um, how we got here, um, what it encompasses, and kind of how the whole system works together. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineered their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to Kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. All right, for our intake, let's go ahead and actuate out. Uh, so I'll kind of narrate this while the robot goes. So we're using a Neo with a 100 to 1 gear ratio. Um, that basically uses two gears to actuate out Lexan or polycarbonate plates um, to then actuate the entire uh, intake out onto the floor uh, at the position that we want. We're, we're placing the bottom rollers, uh, that's going to be what I call the kicker wheels, about a quarter inch off the floor. Uh, this is something that uh, it varies a little bit when I, with our motor. Um, however, that's, that was our goal. Uh, and then our top wheel is about one and three quarters off the ground. Uh, in total, the total compression between our two wheels is going to be one and three quarters. Um, and everywhere else on our, uh, on our, dry, our intake is going to be driven by belts. So we're using a three to one Neo to drive everything. That's going to be a one to one everywhere. Uh, so we're driving the top wheel with the Neo. And then we're going to be belting over to an idler axle, which is going to gear, uh, invert the rotation. Oh, and... Looks like Jordan got ahead of himself. I'll go and get this out. <clears throat> but we're continuing. We're um, using a set of churros to kind of guide the uh, ring as it comes into the intake. And then a piece of polycarbonate as backing to prevent the uh, it from going any further. Currently, uh, as it reaches that end stop, it just kind of slips on the wheels, which isn't really a problem for us. And we kind of just pulse the um, wheels as it uh, comes in to kind of keep it retained. Uh, however, this is something that we want to kind of put a limit switch in there to kind of uh, optimize this system, make it all right. Um, but yeah, you kind of see it here. Uh, we thought we'd have some issues a little bit with uh, grabbing the game piece and kind of bending it, but the game piece has been really well. Um, so if your intake is utilizing uh, you know, bending the game piece, it should have no problem with it. Uh, every once in a while, our game piece, our uh, intake does get a little low to the ground and snags the ground like that. And our intake is not perfect, as we can see uh, right here. Go ahead and pause. What we can see here is uh, the ring got in between the set of churros, which I call like the cage of churros and the polycarbonate. Um, and it's kind of slipping out here. This is a state that we can't recover from. Um, but this can be easily fixed by just adding some more churro here on the top side uh, to just kind of retain that a little bit more. Uh, and one thing that also could help a lot with that is going to be adding a limit switch here or some sort of object detection to kind of detect when the game piece is fully entered the intake. So you can stop, uh, stop moving, kind of just go into a, um, a more like a, a pulsing or just kind of run the wheels at a lower voltage just to kind of make sure you have a really good positive hold on that wheel. Um, we'll go ahead and show you some more. It's kind of it doing it. And even when it comes in slightly at an angle, uh, we really have no problem with this. What's that? Oh, yeah. So um, when we go ahead and pick up the game piece, uh, it's really we actually have a really good hold of it. Even when we drive around like it, you can see it squishes up in there, and it just kind of fills the space in the intake. Really has no problem. Uh, even uh, Jordan can try as hard as he wants, and he probably won't be able to lose that game piece just from driving. Uh, in total, our, our intake is about 18 and 7 eighths, uh, 7 eighths inches wide. Um, it's really important to have a really wide intake. We're really happy with ours. There could be a potential for making the intake a little bit wider. Um, just to really grab as many, uh, be as wide as you can so you give your driver as much air. Um, but we're really happy with where we are. That about covers it for our intake and game piece acquisition. Uh, 
Thank you guys for watching and be sure to check out more Cranberry Alarm RA3 videos on First Updates Now. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotics scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.